Jessica's Park Run Heroes is brought to you by Vitality Health and Life Insurance. I'm inspired. I feel like I run myself. And, oh, that's enough. Parkrun is a global phenomenon. In the UK, around 200,000 of us run every Saturday morning, helping whole communities get active and live healthier and happier lives. So Vitality, through their partnership with Parkrun UK, have explored 10 stories about ordinary parkrunners who've achieved some extraordinary things. At 87 years old, veteran John Butcher is a legend. Butch has run 240 park runs at 96 venues and is currently second in the all-time rankings for his age category. If he's over the hill, then it's only because he ran it. What's the weather like today? You had a look at the weather today. It's very, very cold, Colin. Yeah, I saw one degree and sleet at 12, is it? I've got three and a, <coughs> three and a half liars. <laughs> <laughs> What's a half a liar then? Yeah. Hey? What's well, a half a liar? I've just got, I've got this uh, orange t shirt. I normally wear shorts, but I thought it's getting too cold now. Oh, yeah. How long is it going to take to get there from here, Jerry? Yeah, we'd better go. Don't forget your bananas. <laughs> Did you find somewhere to park, all right? <laughs> there you go. You better strip off, Colin. I know, I know. Stop. Yeah, we've got to keep up with you today. <laughs> He's got a famous saying that you'll be, all, you'll be all right, boy, and as soon as he says that, you know you're in trouble. Like, he's going to stick you on the ledge of some mountain, you know, without ropes. I started to wear joggers trekking group, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, about 15 years ago now, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, and we've been every year ever since. Well, you haven't missed one, have you? You've done every one. I think you have, have you? Yeah, I missed one. Which one did you miss? 1915. 2015. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can beat him now, but a few years ago, I couldn't, could I? <laughs> Not a few years ago. For my age, I am a good runner. In fact, when I look at the Run Britain website, um, for over 85 year olds in the UK for park running, I'm ranked fourth. I want to, if I can, keep as fit as I can, mainly because I've got three daughters, I've got busy lives, and I don't want to get in a situation where they feel they've got to start looking after me. <laughs> All done, are we? Another one, it's off the list. OK. We were just discussing where we should go next week. We're going to have a look, weren't we? We're going to have a look. I fancy that one at Colchester. Well, see, because Butch is doing, trying to get all these records, we try and find him one with a really hard record to beat. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Shirley held the record at Bushy, and uh, he was a, an Olympian. So, obviously, we had to go there to um, take it off him. The first time we went, I didn't do it by 14 seconds, so we had to go back again. And that time, I'd done him for nearly a minute, which I was well pleased about. I don't know, that one's not been done. So, Alsbury, we did the other week, didn't we? That was good. So, is that, where's Bedford? There's Biggles Way, it must be up here. I haven't got my glasses, but... <sighs> Put mine on. No, I can't see. That's one of my favourite pictures of Lizzie. Well, Lizzie, we were married... We would have been married 60 years this year. She was born with a congenital valve in her heart. She felt out of breath nearly all the time, and for her, she considered that to be normal. It was the last day of July, lovely sunny day. I just found Lizzie lying beside the bed. And within two or three minutes, I knew what had happened to her. She'd had a stroke. 
within five months, she'd, she'd gone. I tell people this, and I don't know why I did it. She died about half past five in the morning, and I went park running. Now, to me, that seemed the thing to do. But a lot of people would have thought, that's a funny thing to do. Your wife's just died, and there you're out running. I thought at the time, well, there's nothing I can do here. Being Christmas Day, they had they they couldn't get a doctor quickly. I wasn't a bit surprised when she died on Christmas Day. She was that sort of girl. She thought she would have thought, oh cheer the buggers up. <laughs> Even now, nearly two years on, when I'm running, I'm thinking about Lizzie. I'm sort of half talking to her. Come on, Lizzie would say, get on with it. <laughs> right, so we are running late. OK. Two minutes to nine. You got your whistle? <laughs> I like to see the kids enjoying themselves. I feel that being a volunteer puts something back into the park running. <laughs> Nearly halfway. Well done. There's no old people there. <laughs> if you mix with a lot of old people, they tend to want, only want to tell you about their last operation. <laughs> They love these two guys, because, you know, you see they're high-fiving all the time and they all know these two. Good. Well done. Well. <laughs> Job done. We're going to have a cup of coffee. OK. Then. Nice, cup of, nice coffee. cup of coffee. We're going to have yeah. a nice cup of coffee. See you later, boys. Jessica's Park Run Heroes is brought to you by Vitality Health and Life Insurance. Sorry, no. Forgot me trainers.